So Woj reports that the Sixers, Harden is opting in to the 76ers, going to sign a contract, but Philadelphia is going to seek trade options. This is, of course, the right move. Um, Tyrese Maxey is ascending into a number two and beat as a number one. Tobias Harris is certainly good enough to be a three. Harden is not a trustable winning postseason player. Uh, you get nothing on the defensive end. He's quirky. He's odd. He has become a better distributor over time. Never been in great shape. Um, I just don't think he's a winning basketball player. And I've said this about a lot of dynamic guards. Um, Westbrook, Wall, Derek Rose, James Harden, highlight reels, Ja Morant. I don't think they're winning players. I just think they're gifted players. So I think Daryl Morey, the GM of the Sixers, is making the right move. Uh, NBA GMs are desperate suckers for talent, and you will be able to find somebody that takes James Harden. But I think they're a better team without him. What I would try to find uh, is another dynamic guard who will give you something on the defensive end. Now, there is speculation that they, you know, perhaps uh, Philadelphia is interested in Damian Lillard. I don't know that to be true. But, you know, I, I've, I, I get into these discussions all the time. Um, you know, Kyrie Irving is visiting Phoenix. Um, drama is a killer in the NBA. It destroyed the Mavericks in Memphis late in the year. Destroyed them. Uh, the Lakers got rid of Westbrook, played great basketball. Um, Harden is drama. The Brooklyn team, when you had Harden, a Kyrie, Durant, three Hall of Famers, nothing but drama. And the reason being is an NBA locker room is a smaller locker room, fewer players. So one agitator can blow up the rest of the locker room. Whereas in baseball, a third of the team pitchers down in the bullpen, professional football, half the guys, one side of the field, half the guys, the other basketball, one plane, 13 guys, seven that matter, eight that play. One selfish agitator, one quirky, odd personality blows up a room. So Bones Highland at the trading deadline shipped out of Denver. Chemistry got better. They never looked back. So to me, Kyrie Irving creates drama. John Morant, now drama. James Harden, drama. These guys are team killers. But there is a unique relationship with young NBA fans, not all NBA fans, but young fans who wear the sneakers of stars, that they're emotionally attached to players like international soccer fans are to their Messi and Ronaldos, that they look past their flaws because they wear their players. You don't wear cleats from football players or baseball players. You don't walk around with a glove. If you look at what the NBA has the fans, especially young fans, have a much higher level of tolerance of bullshit with NBA stars because they wear them. That's why the Jordan-LeBron debate is so fierce. It's not just Michael's game. It's Michael's shoes. There are people that collect them. Every time they get up in the morning, they go to their closet and have 12 pairs of Jordans, right? So the loyalty to an international soccer star and the loyalty to an NBA star from young fans is so intense and deeply embedded emotionally that they just overlook Westbrook, Wall, Harden, Steph Marbury's flaws. They're just, they wear their stuff. And, but I think the smartest GMs in the league, sometimes you have to take on a player that's high maintenance to get you to another place. But I think Philadelphia is absolutely making the right move. Sign Harden, move him. There's a sucker out there every minute. Somebody needs offense. You know, I mean, to be honest with you, Westbrook worked briefly with the Clippers. They needed somebody to run the offense. They had good wings. And Paul George and Kawhi missed so many games. Westbrook shows up every night, gives you 34 minutes, gives you production. He kind of worked with the Clippers. Like if Kawhi and Paul George played every night, he'd be disruptive, but they don't. That's why I thought Westbrook with AD and LeBron would work. 
LeBron's old, misses 30 games, AD misses games all the time. He'd be productive. He'd play. He'd play hard. So, But I, I think Harden got the Sixers to a, a level before Maxi was ready to be the number two. I think they needed Harden to be the two. But I think they're making this move for a lot of reasons. One, better chemistry. And two, Tyrese Maxey is now ready to be the second star, the co-pilot, the Robin of the Batman. Now, Woj reports that the Clippers and the Knicks will engage with the Sixers. I do not think it fits for the Knicks. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Harden's people are leaking that. They don't need him. They they have they don't need a ball centric guard. They have their pilot. They have their quarterback in Jalen Brunson. He does not fit with the Knicks. What they need is to get a big that can score. Mitchell Robinson's a defender. They need a big who can score. Um, as far as the Clippers, they've been looking for a guard for years. They tried John Wall, didn't work. They tried Westbrook, sort of worked, but it's not a long term plan. I don't think Harden is the answer, but in a city where they're trying to grab market share, going into a new building, Harden's a star. Kawhi's a star. Paul George is a semi-star. Not my cup of tea. Um, Paul George and Kawhi are very good defensive players. Harden's not, so that's that does help Harden's case. The Clippers feel much more realistic than the Knicks do.